don't think so. Come back when I'm done reading, bastards. Where the hell have you been? I've been waiting forever for you. You know, it's not nice to keep an old man waiting. I could die. But I didn't. So let's get on with this. You might be wondering why I have these in my nose. Well, it has to do with why this book was at the Dollar Tree. It smells bad. Really bad. It kind of smells like every bad thing in the world mixed into one. Really bad eggs, old milk, my dead cow out front. Now I probably should get rid of it. It's been there a month. But in a little bit, it won't smell anymore because it's going to be bones. Yeah. Oh, and my dead cat. All right, well, let's begin. Shall we? The creature was looking right at him the moment Jason walked into the room. Its eyes were watching him. It couldn't see him. The room was pitch black. But a host of other sensory organs told him he was there. You know, actually, this book ain't too bad. It just smells real bad. Really bad. Really, really bad. Really, really. Okay, fine, bastards. You know what that means, don't you? That's right. It's time to put the. It's time to put the stinky Irish misery. So, shall we? You know, I thought, I'm thinking about it now. It's not really going to help the smell, is it? I got an idea. I'll rub my cowl over it. Maybe it'll smell better. You know what? Maybe it'll fit up your mama. It'll smell better then. Of course, I think your mom will spell bad. I can't have that. What? Where do you think she goes Tuesday nights? Huh? Well, I knew I kept that cow around for something. <laughs> 